Properly fitting a football helmet is essential for the most effective performance of the helmet system. A helmet truly functions as a system and must be fitted properly to perform its best. The helmet that protects the best is the one that has been properly fitted. That's why you should take special care to make sure it's done properly. Communication between the player and the person who's fitting the helmet is absolutely vital to getting a proper fit and achieving optimum performance from the helmet system. The player is the one who will be able to tell you if the helmet is too tight or too loose, whether the face guard is obstructing his vision or whether or not the chin strap feels right, among many other variables. The person fitting the helmet is the one who needs to make adjustments to the helmet system, assuring a proper fit is achieved. As you prepare to fit a helmet on a player, make sure he fully understands the importance of achieving a proper fit and his role in that fitting. In addition, make sure the player reads and understands the warning label on the helmet about the inherent risks of playing football. For younger players, be sure to read the label aloud to him and review it with him. Above all, after the player has been properly fitted with a helmet, make sure he understands the helmet is not intended to be used as a weapon. When he's playing, he should keep his head up at all times. He should not butt, ram, spear, or strike any player with any part of his helmet or face guard. The helmet is the single most important piece of protective equipment a football player can wear. The helmet system performs most effectively when it's properly fitted on a player. The proper fitting of the helmet is a responsibility shared by both the player and an experienced person fitting the helmet on him. This may not sound important to you right now, but it is the most important information you can receive regarding the most effective performance of your helmet system. Keep your head up. Do not butt, ram, spear, or strike an opponent with any part of the helmet or face guard. This is a violation of football rules and may cause you to suffer severe brain or neck injury, including paralysis or death and possible injury to your opponent. Contact in football may result in concussion brain injury, which no helmet can prevent. Symptoms include loss of consciousness or memory, dizziness, headache, nausea, or confusion. If you have symptoms, immediately stop and report them to your coach, trainer, and parents. Do not return to a game or contact until all symptoms are gone and you receive medical clearance. Ignoring this warning may lead to another and more serious fatal brain injury. No helmet system can protect you from serious brain and or neck injuries, including paralysis or death. To avoid these risks, do not engage in the sport of football. The DNA Recruit is one of the most popular youth football helmets in the game today, and it's very easy to fit properly on a young player. The first thing to do is accurately measure the circumference of the player's head using a cloth measuring tape. Now make sure you measure the circumference at the head's widest point, and that's generally about one inch above the eyebrows. Now using this chart, find the helmet that is the best starting point for your player. Remember these sizes are recommendations only. Because each player's head is shaped differently, the actual helmet size that best fits him may not be the helmet indicated in this chart. A properly fitted helmet will be snug on a player's head, but not overly tight. The nose bumper and front edge of the helmet should be a little less than one inch above the player's eyebrows. Now an easy way to check this is to use your index finger. The proper distance is about one to one and a half fingers between the eyebrows and the front edge of the helmet and the nose bumper. Now let's move on to the chin strap. Your DNA Recruit comes standard with a four-point high chin strap with long straps. Have the player hold the chin cup securely over his chin and keep it there while the chin straps are being adjusted. Attach the chin strap to the helmet. Remember the top straps go underneath the face guard, not over it. So you'll need to remove the buckles, thread the straps under the face guard, and then replace the buckles before snapping into place. Now with the helmet on the player's head, attach the bottom straps. Now adjust all four chin straps so the chin cup is snug and centered on the player's chin. 
There should be no slack in any of the straps and the ear holes on the helmet should be centered over the player's ears. This is the traditional way to attach the chin strap to the helmet. With the DNA Recruit, however, you also have another method available to attach the chin strap, a method that's available only in helmets made by Shut Sports. The sure fit slots on the helmet allow for the bottom chin straps to be attached to the helmet by threading along the inside of the helmet. Many times the sure fit slots give young players with smaller heads a better fit from their helmet. After removing the buckles from the bottom straps, thread the chin straps along the inside of the helmet and then pull them through the sure fit slot on each side. After putting the helmet on the player's head, replace the buckles on the bottom chin straps and snap into place. As before, adjust all four chin straps so that the chin cup is snug and centered on the player's chin, making sure all the slack is out. Be sure to keep the ear holes centered over the player's ears. After the helmet is properly fitted, go ahead and cut off the excess strap. The final piece of the fitting puzzle are the jaw pads. Your DNA recruit comes equipped with a pair of 1 and 1 8 inch jaw pads. They should be snug against the player's face and flush with his jaw. If there's a gap between his cheeks and the pad, or if the pads are pushing into his cheeks, try a different size jaw pad, which are available from your local shut dealer or retail store. And one final check to see if you've properly fitted this helmet. Try to rotate the helmet while it's on the player's head. It's okay for the player's hair and skin to move with the helmet as it's rotated, but the helmet should never wobble, tilt, rotate, or otherwise move independently. If the helmet does move, the helmet has not been properly fitted, and the steps in the fitting process should be repeated until a proper fit has been achieved.